put this quit put these quests to rest down there and get the stupid uh, thing. Found hopes. Investigate submerged ruins, yes. I don't even have to worry about this fucking for a third one nearby. Maybe I can find it. Um. Oh, that one. Okay. Oh, I forgot I'm underwater. <laughs> Can't patch up underwater. Also, because we can dive down deep and go back to the um, Daunt, there's a few things under there that we couldn't get to. Like, there's so many places we can go now and just like, explore because we can actually breathe underwater. Can't fast travel there. I can fast travel. And go here. <laughs> then make my way over. Video game makers do stuff like Ve what this game did for Vegas more. And I don't mean repeat it, but I mean like give us the underwater world that's actually enthralling and gorgeous, but not that terrifying. Because oh, if it was not for that giant fucking Dilephosaur, that would have been too pretty for me. Oh, it's a vehicle. Okay. I'm sitting here like, what the hell?
current. That was weird. Very, very weird. Where are we? Oh, okay. I, I went the wrong way, swimming-wise. Okay, that's fine. I'm also noticing for how deep all this water we've been finding is, like, that means we're up on, like, the upper parts of Mount Woods. It's like, this water is deep as shit. But this is, like, or is, was, whatever you want to call it, the top of, like, a higher mountain. Sorry, right, buddy. Don't need to do it, but I have to. strong color on this. It's, oh, it's over here. Devil Slot. I don't like that name. That's ominous and foreboding. I don't like that. Can we rename it to anything else? Leave it to a pharaoh to be a jackass. Whew, that'll keep me awake. Right? It wasn't that bad. a lot of bad guys though. Wide maw. Apex wide maw. Three wide maws. Deep lashers. Now 
My chance. This. Move just enough. You're down. A hey, level thirty five. I will gladly take that level up. Two white moths down. Reload, reload, reload. Good shot. Too bad I didn't do anything. You were right behind me, bro. Good night, sweet prince. was rude. Like really. So rude. I wasn't even like really here for you guys either. Like that was the worst part. You guys just decided to make that fight. I know, I know, I started it, but you guys didn't need to be here. That's my point, is you guys could have been like anywhere else. This, this, that. Um, but, but, use three of it. Okay. 
I hate this? Kinda. Only because, like, you know. Deep water, we just saw the, the plesiosaur bullshit. No. We'll get through it. I hope. Okay, like, hopefully, this won't lead to a nightmare scenario. Sunken. I think I can climb my way through those rocks. Shine cluster, hell yeah. Bitch. <sighs> Where what are we looking at? Looks like a facility used to be here. Facility still is here, but yeah, I see what you mean. This place got hit hard. The vault mentioned in the recordings should be in here somewhere. We just have to follow the coordinates. I'm just gonna move around. What traps you need to? Could hit it with bird water. Purge. Talk. Here's in a puff of smoke whispers. Get Elden Ring. No. Do you got Elden Ring money? Till you do, I got nothing. You spelt it out, you spelt it, spent it on someone other than me, so I can't play it. You want me to get games, you gotta convince people to subscribe to my channel. You know how this works. Oh, that guy just came fucking out of nowhere. Hurry up and be a big successful author or so you can Dude, you know how fucking often I try? Like, come on. Oh boy, oh, 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 you sir, minus the bass of two people. And I'd also like to include, like, you know, the actually being good at writing thing, because, yeah, she kind of sucks. Quickly, quickly, getting the critical shot. Okay, let's go for the override. Go for the over. Nope. Oh. Ow. Hell yeah. Override to defensive. Yes, good. We just overrided the giant crocodile. Now fight. Fight my crocodile. Go forth and kill the kangaroo. Yeah, we'll go fight the kangaroo. Right here. There we go. There we go. Kill it. Australia, man. 
Crazy shit. No. You do not fight me, you fight the giant bot. Yes. Thank you, my robotic crocodile friend. Sorry that in a minute I'm going to kill you. You are a worthy ally. No, no, wait. No, no. That's not what I wanted. Fuck. Sorry, buddy. I am sorry. friend while you were with me. Oop. That's excuse me, don't mind me coming through. This looks promising. Um <clears throat> excuse me. Also, you're lucky you came in now versus earlier, Mike. The section we were doing was all like underwater shit. And it was just like nope. Even I was getting a little like. Mm. I'm guessing this was Hernan. This must be the vault mentioned in the data I found. I should be able to access it. Vault. Vault keys. We had a we had a fight of giant please you so. Priority keys detected. Access granted. I don't think anyone's gonna make it. I'm not sure which will get me first. The airstrike or the whole another sad ending. They're all sad. At least I have the prototype now. I might even be able to make something out of it if I use the data on that drive Gendos found. I don't wanna know what happened here. What the what? That door was not there. door just appeared. Oh. Okay. I was kind of afraid that there's gonna be like a shit ton of enemies here waiting for me. But thankfully there weren't. Oh apparently it's raining. Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't loot you because you were just yeah, yeah, fuck up that it's all about you. <laughs> I forgot. When you're fighting so Oh, it's a little fox. I don't wanna hurt you. Point to. You are a sweet little bee. Things I like about this part, no more having to worry about oxygen. Ooh, treasure chest.
pause. Yeah, that's about right. I think I can fast travel from where I was. <laughs> I too am developing technology that will allow parents to know what books their kids are reading while fucking asking them. Uh, excuse me. Besides, um, I feel like I asked, what did you get the Elden Ring on? PS4 or PC? Like, very delayed question. It's just one of those moments I just realized. You've returned. Yeah, it took me a while. You found something, didn't you? Uh, come now, don't just keep it to yourself. It's, um, difficult to explain. Please, I... I just want to understand as much as I can. Definitely not a tray cover. The old ones fought a massive battle here against machines. Some fled, but others stayed behind to try to salvage this, to help others carry on the fight. Did they survive? So, they failed. It made it into the hands of the most renowned warrior in the Sundom, did it not? And every item we recover will be used to ensure their memory lives on. I didn't see any machines at the dig site, so yes, I suppose that is true. I'll need that tray and your workbench. I'll have to tinker with this to turn it into something I can use. Of course, Savior. It's the least we can do. May the sun light your way, as you have illuminated ours. Let's take a look at this thing. Okay, but like... Brother! I want to talk. Use the workbench. Wait till the scholars hear about this. We'll go. Thank you. What are we making? Ooh. Combination of old world technology and nor craftsmanship. This weapon deploys protective shield. Oh, yes. I like that. I don't. I. I. I already know. I'm getting it. But it's definitely going into the fucking station of weapons. Oh, it doesn't have any upgrades. <clears throat> That's bullshit. Down in the history books. Feels right. T Excuse me. So it deploys a shield that after it absorbs energy it will explode. <laughs> I like Time that. To test it out. I haven't found many text data points, which is surprising me. Shield wires. Oh, that's a, I like that. That looks cool. Uh, did, I'm glad you found out what happened here. Um, 
That was wicked. Um, any other side quests that are nearby? Nope. 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 What is it? No. Fortunately, no. Okay. Where's this one? Well, that's way over there. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, that's the place. I just realized that. Alright, let's go talk to Gaia. As we got Poseidon! The old ones use holograms for everything. It's like an experience. Is this a piece from the bulwark? Talo must have brought this with him as a trophy. Ah. I may have fired the cannon, but he really put Dakota in his place. Yeah, he did. And we were proud of him. He did he did amazing work. Um, don't have that. Don't <clears throat> nope. Sadly, nope. Nope. Okay. We check. Now let's go talk to one, the only, Yaya. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back, Aloy. What's up? I see you have recovered Poseidon. Just, just, just one minute, please. Putting this in here first. Okay, data modules in. Let me Vegas. Please be Vegas with the holograms. Oh, it's, it's during the day, so we don't get to see as much. Still. Poseidon has been retrieved. Aloy, can you come downstairs? Beta has something you need to hear. Okay. Give me a minute. I'll be right down. Aloy, I have managed to unlock additional rooms within the facility. Oh. Got it. Hey, Gaia. It's me. Hello, Aloy. Did you wish to continue our discussion? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff we needed to, to cover. Holy shit. When I dove down into Vegas, I found data about the man who built the dome over the city. Stanley Chen. Turns out he was a member of Far Zenith. But if he loved Vegas so much, why did he abandon it? Why not try to save it? The Zeniths at their core have proven to be exceptional survivalists. 
Faced with overwhelming odds of extinction, they chose to flee. Even still, what he achieved... Water to the wasteland, an entire city brought back to life. A thousand years later, the whole place was still on standby, just... waiting for someone to come along and wake it up. Which we did. So there's a few people here now, and they're... learning. All about you, the ancient world. Almost like what was supposed to happen before Apollo was purged. Yes. While the loss of the Apollo database was catastrophic, there is still much that can be gleaned from the data you have uncovered. Yeah. For instance, Varl has been reviewing the last recorded entries from those who perished during the Pharaoh Plague. <laughs> Hearing their hopes and fears made him quite somber. Anything I should be worried about? I do not believe so. I have elected not to intervene. To allow him to process this on his own terms. Means we'll get to talk to him about it later. Beta believes the Zenus want to use the terraforming system to wipe out life on Earth. <laughs> Why wouldn't Start they? Start over. So they can build it how they want. Further supporting our hypothesis. But why? Given their technology, they could wipe out the tribes of the world by easier means. Mm -hmm. And if they're the same people who left Earth a thousand years ago, wouldn't they want the biosphere to be as it was? It is likely they adjusted to different planetary conditions in their colony on Sirius. They may be trying to recreate that environment here. Turning Earth into a new Sirius. <sighs> their own personal playground. Didn't think of that one. I thought it was just for the whole, like, wipe them out so and start over. So the Xenus are the same people who left Earth. Physically immortal. How'd they figure it out? From what we know of Far Zenith, it is plausible that prominent geneticists and engineers were offered a place aboard the Odyssey in exchange for their expertise. Given enough time, technology, and resources, any challenge can be overcome. Unfortunately. Like how Minerva eventually generated the deactivation codes for the Pharaoh Plague. Exactly. The Zeniths. Gerard, Eric, Tilda, Verbena. Beta said they were some of the most powerful people on Earth. Do you know anything about them? Unfortunately, no. My personal database is limited to those who worked on Zero Dawn. Additionally, it appears Far Zenith was quite secretive about their members. Because <laughs> they were Only cult. one, Oswald Dalgard, was ever publicly known. Oswald. Right. He was the spokesperson back at their old launch facility. What we can conclude from your and Beta's experiences is that the Zeniths are ruthless in pursuit of their goal. To protect life on Earth, they must be stopped. Because they're a cult. So from what Beta told me, I guess we can assume the Zenith technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounters with them amply demonstrate, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. They seemed indestructible, but... That weapon the Rebels used stripped their shield somehow. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. While we lack the anti-shielding weapon, were I to absorb Hephaestus and utilize it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Always. I love how her response is, yeah, it'd be nice if we had the tech, but what if we just beat them until they just break? The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. A signal that precise would require thorough knowledge of the system. 
How could the Zeniths know that? From the records on your focus, it appears Far Zenith had an informant during the development of Zero Dawn. Hank Shaw. He was supposed to steal a copy of the system for Far Zenith, but Elizabeth and Travis Tate caught him first. Yes. It is likely Far Zenith acquired knowledge on the system's design through him, despite his failure. Um. <clears throat> No, I think we really don't really need any stuff. I guess I should get going. As you say, be well, Aloy. You're such a nice lady. We don't deserve her. Where, oh, where is Val? Yo, what up? Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. She found that recording from the Daddy data on your focus. Mom, She's been watching it a lot. Party, right? <laughs> I think it helps calm her. That's the first thing we saw. You know, I used to watch this a lot too. Hi. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big... But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then, one day, <clears throat> a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff Elizabeth's home. overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was a liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? Guilty conscience. What else can you tell us about Tilda? She liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a 
perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zenas never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training. Toiling away. Alone. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. That's cool. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. Where do you? You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. They didn't interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. Aloy's treating her like an object, not a person. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. I acted like the Data Channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. Like I said, yeah, Aloy's biggest problem is she's still treating Beta like an object, not a person. She's not being comforting, she's not being humane. What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. Maybe I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you, trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. back in there and apologize it's you hey I just uh, wanted to see how you're doing I'm fine and look about earlier forget it was there anything else you need the option to apologize you already asked all the it's time for me to go. I'll check on you later. Yeah, sure. Hey, Loy, you really gotta work on your person skills. Boy, do you suck at it. I don't think that door had power before, but... Looks like it's gonna... 
Looks like some kind of maintenance space. Got some shit. I have no idea where I'm taking this thing. That did it. Uh, Aloy? A bunch of lights just turned on up here? Was that you? Oh. Huh. Yeah, I guess it was. What was the... Hold on. I think there's another. I think there's another. Yeah, there is. Where's this one go? Oop. I better keep this down here. Keep this down here. Can I, I think I should take this upstairs. Store locked now. Beta requested the use of that room as her personal space. I have locked it at her request. That's okay. Fair. There's her own space. Like we can, we, we can accept that. I guess we can use the cell. Okay. Fine. What else is up? Everyone has stuff to be talking about. Hey, Aloy. Uh, it's everything all right? It, it seemed like you and Varl were down in that basement for a while. Yeah, everything's fine, I guess. Well, I can okay. talk to her. What, what can I do for you? I think he should talk to Ada. He's still sifting through loads of data? Yeah, it's interesting. There's lots of words. I, I thought maybe I could try finding things with more, you know, pictures in it. Go to Vegas. Not much luck there, but I, I did find out about these, uh, holofilms. Like, images put together to tell a story. Uh, they were made to look like they were the real thing. You know, the Osteram like shows. I bet they pay a lot of shards for those hollows. It seems like you're getting a hang of this data thing. Yeah, it's been helpful. When I could make sense of anything. I did find the old ones enjoyed a good brew like the rest of us. <laughs> Only they let machines serve the stuff in bars. They even let the damn things cut you off before you saw the underside of a table. Uh, and that's half the fun. Now, you won't see me letting a robot serve me a pitcher anytime soon. <laughs> How are things going around here? Hey, you tell me. Varl's new girlfriend tried to kill me earlier. What did you do? I made one joke. Oh no. About how they, you know, eat grass a lot. Oh no. How does anyone fight with nothing but tree leaves in their stomach anyway? From the looks of it, the Utaru. Yeah, well, I wasn't expecting it to be that fast. Just 
I try not to get hurt. I see someone's been playing strike. I'm just trying to get some practice in. Helps take my mind off things. You should try playing Catalo. It's a Tanakh game. Maybe you'll learn something. Oh, uh, sure. Tanakh. I'm sure he won't try and kill me if I win? Pretty sure. Do I smell ale? Yeah, I brought some over from Chain Scrape. Of course you did. Hey, with everything that's been going on, I thought we could all use a drink. Besides, there is nothing that brings people together like a good brew. That's what my sister always said, anyways. I mean... Hey, you're more than welcome to have some. Maybe another time. I don't think we've actually ever seen Aloy drink, have we? I should get going. Back to reading, I guess. Do be careful out there. I really wish we could pick companions to take with us when we go out. Only because, like, it would be better if we could take two of them with us. Aloy. Hey, how's everything going? I am well, but Varl told me Beta's having a hard time adjusting to life here with us. I wish there was something I could do to help. I'm not sure any of us can. A tree won't bear fruit in a day. We'll do our best to make her feel welcome. That's good. Because he has did a number on Beta. But she seems to trust Varl. I still can't believe she told him the Zeniths are immortals. Old ones who cut themselves off from the cycle of life and decay. I've never heard of anything so selfish. To deny our dying bodies to the Earth. To doom the life that would bloom in their place. It's despicable. That's a different take on immortality being bad. I never considered it that way. I mean, yeah, immortality is bad, but like, I never thought of it in the sense of, like, that way. Because he has to deny. I still old one. I've never to deny. It's yeah, 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 yeah. Found anything else combing through that data? Varl and I have been looking into the animals of the old world. Apparently, there used to be thousands more species roaming around than there are today. Can you imagine that? Yeah. I'd give anything to see them. Even as holograms. Though I know that without Artemis or Apollo, that may prove difficult. At least I can find comfort in knowing Gaia used many of them as inspiration for her machines. Mm -hmm. Her memory honors them. What are you going to learn next? I'm not sure. I asked Gaia for suggestions, and she brought up data you found on something called a... Museum? <laughs> From what I gather... The old ones would store knowledge in them for all to see and learn from, like you've done here for us. Maybe one day more people will be able to use this place to learn the way we have. That sounds crowded, but nice. If not this place, we, there's probably more that we can use. Are you guys training with Erend as well? If you count trying to stick a spear in his gut as training, then yes. I've been told. Please tell me you weren't being serious, though. Of course not. Good. I was going for a couple of broken bones. He <laughs> called the Utaru leaf grazers. Laughed at the idea of us simple farmers being formidable fighters. Before I knew it, he and I were battling it out in the common room. The man is slow, but he can throw a hammer around. Don't look so worried. We're evenly matched. For now. Next time he's going down like a load of boar dump. <laughs> Just try not to kill each other. Injuring his pride should be good enough. Is there anything I can help with around here? Hmm? Oh, no. We're doing fine. Are you okay? You and Varl have been friends for a while. I like to think so. I was wondering... What do you know about his mother? Oh. Oh, Not no. Not bad, huh? Why do you want to know? He's spoken of his sister, Vala, but... I noticed he avoids talking about his mother. She's the war chief of the Nora. Best warrior the tribe's ever known. Tougher than a Thunderjaw, but she could be pretty harsh at times. I see. That must have been hard on him. Thank you for telling me. I feel silly not being able to ask Varl directly. 
Yeah. I wouldn't worry about it. He's probably afraid Sona will scare you off someday. I'd like to see her try. I should get going. I like her still, and this is making good luck it on your search. I, I just like how she doesn't give to. Hey, got a sec? Of course. It's hard to believe we're dealing with the original Zenus. The same ones that left for Sirius a thousand years ago. To live on for so long. It doesn't seem natural. Because it's not. That weapon we found where Beta was hiding. Any chance we can use that against them? Silence made sure that wasn't an option. Why would he build something to hurt Farzina, yet allow them to capture you? With Silence, there's always an angle. We just don't know what it is yet. Hate Silence so much. What do you make of this Tilda the Beta was talking about? Well, the way she described it, I can't shake off the feeling that Tilda wanted something from Beta. Maybe because she's Elizabeth Sobek's clone? But whatever she wanted, I don't think she got it. If we knew what it was, maybe we could use it to our advantage somehow. Uh, I don't know. I don't think Tilda and Elizabeth were on the best of terms. Oh well. At least we can take some comfort in knowing the Zeniths don't trust each other. Maybe. I was training. Discovering something new about our past every day. When we first met, you asked me if I ever wondered what this world looked like when the old ones lived here. I thought it was strange at the time, but a lot has changed since I left the Embrace. Now I'm just trying to make sense of everything I thought I knew, and versus everything I know now. The change is hard, but it gets easier over time. You brought up Rost before. I do think about him. You know, he was all I had. And he brought me up the best he could. Not only that, when Hades discovered who I was and sent the Eclipse after me, he sacrificed himself so I could survive. But that seems like ages ago. So much has happened since. What I'm doing now, I don't think he could even begin to understand it. The Sacred Lands were all he really knew. So I can't let myself dwell on him. Not with everything I have to do. I understand. Sometimes, when I think about my sister, about what she would have become if she had survived the proving, it hurts. And I just need to bury it for a while. But only for a while, Aloy. You can't ignore it forever. Memories always come back. The ones that matter, anyway. I know. Yeah. But right. for now, the mission has to come first. Fair enough. Damn, is he right? You feeling okay? I was just thinking about Beta and all that time spent with the Zeniths. To think someone would make a person just to lock them in a room to use when needed, like some sort of tool. Elizabeth Sobek sacrificed herself for the world, and yet they have no trouble treating Beta like a slave. Another Aloy reason we that? have to stop them. I know, Var like, Varl, Aaron, and Zoe aren't. But Aloy kind of is. She, is. she may not be locking her in a room, but she sure as fuck isn't treating her like a person. I should get back out there. We'll be here if you need us. You can make the argument, oh, she's, she's not because it's Beta's making it difficult. It's not on Beta to... The how Aloy wants. One of Studius Fuadis's many scrolls. There's a pain getting him to Baron Light. Still, he didn't deserve to be run down by Regala's writers. You're doing this for the team, Aaron. Come on. Catalo. Mind if we have a word? Of course not. How's the training going? Must be strange, seeing everything through a focus now. I can see machines like never before. Their strengths and weaknesses simply reveal themselves to me. Yeah, they do. To think that such a tiny object might be the most powerful weapon I've ever possessed. 
There's a metaphor about the brain being better than the whole body thing right there. What do you think of this place? It must take some getting used to. It's an efficient center of operations and an acceptable training facility. <laughs> Though it could use some more color. Do they note it? I'm just picturing him now, like, painting everything. Does it still hurt? It comes and goes. I try not to think about it, but its absence is always present for me. It's difficult to explain. I can't claim to understand. Only empathize. Then you have my thanks. Have you spoken with Erend at all? I've had little chance to. I did see him bring some ale from out east. That stuff's as bitter as self-brush. <laughs> you get used to it, eventually. In fact, I wouldn't mind a drink myself. I'm sure Erend wouldn't mind sharing. We're playing strike. I should get going. If I can help in some way, say the word. I will. Thank you. I really think you should get a prosthetic. Like, I really do. He deserves a prosthetic. I think he does. So how much do we got? 41% done. Okay, so we went up by like 3% in three hours. I'm not surprised. But it is that time. So, uh, we got what, we, what I set out to do, today, which is good. Yeah.